My name is Dr. Vadia. I'm one of the GPs at Palmar Medical. We have decided to take you through some steps involving the self-breast exam. Women of all ages are recommended to examine their breast at least once a month, preferably after their periods. Four out of ten breast cancers are actually diagnosed by women who have felt a lump during palpation. In the UK, screening by mammograms are recommended between the age of 50 and 70. There are three techniques to inspection. The first one is with both hands on either side, looking out for any signs of swelling, any obvious lump, any skin dimpling or puckering, any abnormal contouring of the breast. Then move your attention to both nipples and again looking for any evidence of cracked or sore nipples, looking for any nipple inversion or nipple eversion. Next, raise both hands above your head and the whole point of this exercise is to identify any hidden swelling or lumps that was not noticed before. Finally, put both palms of your hands on either side of the hip and gently lean forward. This helps identify any skin puckering or any skin dimpling that was not previously visible. The next step is the palpation process. This is usually done using the opposing hand and the middle three fingers. And what is important to notice is actually to use the finger pads rather than the fingertips when doing this. It is useful to follow a pattern. So the two common pattern to use is identifying the breast as a spiral and moving in circular strokes starting from the nipple and proceeding outwards. Another method commonly used is the lenmuir technique. Again, using the finger pads, move gently but firmly up and down using vertical strokes. Whichever technique you decide to go for, it is very important to ensure that the entire breast is covered, starting from the collarbone area and then proceed to the breastbone area and then under the breast and finally covering the entire of the axillary area or the armpit area which also contains breast tissue. Repeat the same exercise on the other side of the breast. The last bit of the palpation process involves the nipple examination. It is important to try to feel for any lumps around the nipple area as well as to try to express any potential discharge from the nipple. The point of this exercise is that early breast cancer can sometimes manifest as a blood-stained discharge from the nipple. The final step of the self-breast exam is the palpation lying down. The best way to do this is to place one hand above your head and then using the very similar palpation techniques taught before, gently palpate your breast for any lumps. Again, I'm stressing once again that it is important to ensure that the entire of the breast is actually covered. So this concludes our self-breast examination. Now, in the event that you do find a lump, then contact your GP as soon as possible or any of the doctors at the Palmar Medical who would do a thorough examination. It is very important to remember that 9 out of 10 breast lumps end up being non-cancerous. So do not be embarrassed if you ever you find a lump, seek prompt medical care.